Hello, Happy New Year, and thank you for tuning in to this update to my uh, training to walk across the north of England coming up in May of this year. Uh, it's not next year anymore, my friends. It's this year. I can't believe it. It's coming up really quickly. And um, what's really interesting is that um, at the end of 2022, on Christmas Eve Eve, I was cross training for this walk that I'm going to be doing. Um, for anybody who's kind of new to these videos, I'm going to be walking the coast to coast path, which goes from St. Bees in the Irish Sea or on the Irish Sea, um, 192 miles uh, through three national parks, including the Yorkshire Dales National Park, which is really why I wanted to do it because I've always been in love with the stories of James Harriet, who was a large animal veterinarian starting in 1937 um, in the Yorkshire Dales. And he writes these beautiful stories or wrote these beautiful stories about what his life was like there. And um, yeah, and I'm going to be walking through the Dales and then all the way out to Robin Hood's Bay, which is on the North Sea. And um, my training was going amazing <laughs> until um, I decided to do rock climbing, uh, indoor rock climbing, bouldering, no ropes. So you're only, you know, I think your maximum climb is going to be about 20 feet and you're landing on soft, you know, mats, like thick mats. So there's much less risk of like real danger of hurting yourself. But on Christmas Eve, Eve 2022, like a couple of weeks ago, I did actually fall and hurt myself. And um, I hit the back of my head. And it was like the gentlest lesson that you could possibly have in terms of fall, right? I, um, I hit the back of my head. I talked to my son who's an EMT. He recommended that I go to the emergency room. And the scans that I had there showed that um, I had no bleeding in my brain. I had no broken vertebrae. Um, they were amazing. They were basically like, you're going to have a really bad headache and a really bad neck ache. And the way that you can make these things as good as they can possibly be for yourself is to one, stay hydrated and two, get lots of rest. And so as a result, I had the most well-rested Christmas I've like ever had as an adult. I really took that very seriously. And I was back. I was cleared to do any exercise I wanted to as soon as I felt up for it. And I took that seriously, too. And I felt well enough to climb again um, just a little under a week later. Um, I, I've been saying I crossed a Rubicon that that time because I went without anybody else. It was just me. Um, so no kid to motivate me to go. I went by myself. And I had a good time. Um, I noticed that I hurt I hurt my leg a little bit, one of my legs, the, the original tendon challenges that had me in a wheelchair in 2011 um, sort of raised their voices and said, hey, we're hurting. So um, there's a little more to this than like what I've been doing, I'm noticing is overdoing it in ways that are indicating I need to pay attention to um, to the original tendons. And so I wanted to share this update today because today has been like a tough day. <laughs> today has been a really tough day. Um, Today was supposed to be Jay and my first ski day of the year. And um, we've been skiing together since he was nine. And we usually Max is in on the ride too, but Max is working this year and he wasn't sure when he was going to be able to uh, do this. So, so it's just Jay and I. And the weather was supposed to be crappy on the way for the drive. And then we were supposed to be getting snow up at the mountain. The mountain's about an hour away. And I sort of used all that as an excuse to not go this morning and once I slept in and realized I woke up what I realized was that the real the real problem for me was that I was afraid to ski <laughs> this has never happened since I was about 20 20 something early 20s and I and I took a big huge yard sale fall and realized I was like fine and um and never felt afraid on skis again and so um what I've done about it is I've come out and I've gone on a, on a, on a good long walk and um, my legs feel fine. My legs feel good. Jay and I plan to go rock climbing tonight and I've decided I'm going to, I'm going to do both the skiing and the climbing in the way that I usually approach my early season training, which is to say, even if I only do 10 minutes or one run or, or one climb, um, 
I'm going to do all the stretching and all the like, just the joyful experiencing of it and not, I think what my walk showed me was like, it's, it's time to, um, let go of the worries around it and just enjoy it for what it is in this moment. Um, it's just been really interesting. So I kind of wanted to take you in on this journey because like, it's not all fun and games unless I kind of let it be. So there was this moment while I was walking where I was, I was crying and I was like all up in my head about like, what if I can't do this? What if my walk is ruined across England? Like, what if it's all, and I had this moment of catching myself and being like, wait a second, wait just a, 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 a goddamn second here. <laughs> like, I know now that there's more than one uh, aspect of my of my consciousness. Okay, so like, I've been the way I've been thinking about it is in my head is a consciousness, an awareness, and then also a psyche. And when my psyche acts up, that's what's acting up. Like right now, my awareness is observing my psyche freaking out. And what happened on my walk was I will I was able to kind of pull back behind that and recognize. This is the psyche. This is not the awareness. I don't have to get pulled into it unless I want to, and I absolutely do not want to. So I'm on my walk, and what I was able to do was really just concentrate on my breath. I was able to sort of go and like remember that I can breathe, and when I am centered behind the psyche, it's how it, kind of how I think about it, I can breathe, I can calmly observe the psyche, which weirdly to me, I don't know, this is really strange, but it kind of, my psyche seems to be, when it's in this mode of like wicked high drama, it is set in the Hall of Prophecy in the Harry Potter novels where all those like glass bottles are, are making their predictions and they're all getting broken and like they're just sort of, because what happens is eventually the psyche moves on to some other topic to be dramatic about. And that's literally what happened today. And that's really why I wanted to bring you in on this because like I... I ended up being able to let it go and I had a great walk and I took some pictures that I intend to do some painting on and like whatever happens is going to happen. I'm going to I'm going to point my ski tips down and go. I'm going to set myself a climb and I'm going to try it. I'm going to I'm going to just joyfully put my boots on a trail and I'm going to walk it. And that's what I did today and um whatever my psyche has to say about it is what they have to is she <laughs> has to say about it, right? My awareness is so into just the joy of being in for the ride. And um, I don't know. I think if you, if you are having things in your life that are hard, I think I really wanted to share this because I'm just solidarity, man. I get it. <laughs> we all have things that are hard. And um, I don't know. I thought maybe this could be a helpful message. Someday I'll make one of these and I won't cry, I promise. <laughs> All right, so much love to you. Um, yeah, uh, I will drop the link to uh, my adventures page on my website if you want to watch some more of these videos. And I will drop the link to the GoFundMe um, for my walk across England if you feel like supporting me um, or just reading more about my story over there. Thank you so much to everybody for being here with me. I love you. Happy New Year. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.